So the kind of starting point for um, the residences of Sanford Lodge started with the site. And the site is quite unusual. It's a kind of wedge-shaped site that's vaguely like this. And it has some very beautiful specimen trees at the, uh, at the southern end of the site down here. And it's orientated sort of vaguely north-south, so the sun is moving around the site in that direction. It's south being at the bottom of the page down here. And we have some neighbours close to us over on the kind of eastern side of the site, the backs of a number of houses and neighbours. And there's a fantastic protected structure called Sanford Lodge towards the north that was part of the uh, old Beaulieu estate. It was a building that um, had to some extent been lost in the previous landscape and was really in need of a, a new setting uh, that would uh, uh, reform it and refocus the architecture on this facade facing south. So rather than doing the more usual thing, which would be to, to try to put a, an apartment building in the center of the site, which would give you kind of a tension between this element itself and then also overlooking sunlight daylight issues with surrounding neighbors. What we decided to do instead was try and really make a place. And we did that by utilizing a, a very simple typology of low-rise medium density housing that made a kind of v-shaped public space in the center of the site and that space is uh, is lawned and is kind of quite formal but it really forms the sort of communal heart of the development right at the center and the space is made and formed by the architecture around it as opposed to being like an apartment block that's dropped in the middle like a sort of oil tanker floating in the sea and the landscape is moving around it. So these buildings on the outside are, are very deliberately made so that they look into and address that space in a very direct way. And then they also look into their own internal courtyards in the middle. And by doing that, what we avoid is the, the typical problem that you would have if you were doing an apartment scheme which is that you'd have overlooking and sunlight daylight issues to your neighbours. We don't look to the rear, to other people's gardens here, above the first floor level, and we look into the centre of the site. And that really means that that centre, that beautiful piece of landscaping with beautifully planted trees, really becomes the kind of communal heart of the whole development. And it also readdresses and forms a new place for the protected structure, the Victorian protected structure at the north of the site.